Hello everybody, this is Omega, and I wanted to uh, take a few words about our last month's, or actually this month's, October's box. Sorry about that. This guy went up a tree yesterday and got stuck and couldn't come down. And he was wailing and crying. I called the fire department. They said they don't do that anymore. They won't help. So some passerby tried to help. He wouldn't, he didn't come down. And then, and eventually he came down on his own. And um, needless to say, he went to bed early last night. So he's a little frisky today because I didn't give him a walk. Um, Freddie can walk on a leash and I'm really happy about that. But he slipped out of his harness and went up that tree so quickly I didn't have a chance. So um, hopefully he won't be doing that anymore anytime soon. But um, he's a little clingy because I didn't give him his walk. Clingier than normal. Okay, I'm going to put you down, okay? Mommy has a video. Good boy, good boy. Sorry. <sighs> um, so, uh, this month's box for the Witch's Moon we got um, in October. And, of course, Samhain. We're always expecting a little bit more. We hope for a little bit more. And the Witch's Moon boxes are great. I don't want to put them down. I don't want to, um, you know, say that they're not, you know... Uh, that they're bad or anything like that. I mean, they're very well put together. Get down. And a lot of thought goes into them and care. So I just want to preface that, you know, preface this by just saying that um, the Witch's Moon has a really, I think, good following too. And they are quality compared to a lot of the boxes out there. For your money, I think so far that I've tried, um, it's probably the best bang for your buck if you want quality, especially with the beeswax candles. Those are a lot more expensive than the paraffin ones and the oils that they, that they give and um, just the way it's put together. It's great. But there was one viewer that mentioned something about this month's October, October, sorry, long day again. <laughs> October and feeling a little disappointed that we love getting our boxes every month and that's you feel like you're getting a present every month at least I do and that's the joy of opening these up and they're great I love the witches moon boxes however this month I was a little disappointed myself and a viewer had mentioned that and I gave a full video on the unboxing. You might want to take a look at that if you haven't seen it yet. But um, just, I'll go through what they gave. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare it to last month, last year's Samhain October box. So instead of just complaining and, you know, just have it just, you know, on subjective, I'm going to, I have objective actual pieces here that I found if you look on their website you can find it too for 2017 Samhain and there there's more in it um, and you you expect it I mean or you want it for for Samhain it's special for us so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly go through what we got what's pretty much the usual and then I'm gonna compare it to last year's so here I go with this is, and I don't have pictures or anything of last year's, but I'm gonna I'm gonna write it down, and you can look at the website yourself. Um, they have past boxes up there, and they were really great boxes. And somehow I feel once in a while that maybe they're I don't want to say cutting corners, but they're just not the way they used to be. And of course, you know, once you give people that level of, of service and, and product, 
they start to expect it. So anyways, I'll proceed with this. And what I want to say is that um, in most boxes, you will get almost all of them. You will get um, an you'll get an oil. You'll get incense. Almost everyone, I think everyone, you get incense. Um, most of the time, you will get a bath salt, candle with spell, and at least one herb usually two, sometimes three, and maybe a tea, and sometimes a crystal. So this is one I wanna go, I'll go through this month's box. So we have the spell candle, okay. We have the Yerba Santa here, and of course the wand. And in case you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll just open it really quickly. Which is beautiful. I'm not complaining about it at all. Really nice. I'll probably gift this out. Anyway, so, so we got the wand. And this was the bath salt. And we got, I'm just gonna show you the things that we normally get. So that was it, um, except for this. This was the bonus. There's always one kind of bonus in there, whether it's an um, offering bowl or something like that. So this was the bonus that we usually get. And we got the artwork, two of them. However, there were none about, there were none about Samhain. I mean, they were really nice. There's one. Queen of Wands, or the Magic Wand. And here's the other about the Ancestors. So I guess that's about Samhain, but I don't know. I guess I wanted something more colorful. But otherwise, really nice. But we got that, and we got, um, these are the oils. That's what we usually get. This was Queen of, Queen of Wands. So, and I'll show you later what was, this is the one that was, different and I'll explain why I don't think it's as big as a deal as you know it it looks like as far as an extra bonus for Samhain I'm gonna go through what they had for October 2017 and all the things that I mentioned the oils the incense the, the spell candle the herb uh, the the artwork etc was just it was one not two but it was it was really colorful really nice I'm going to list here what I have. Freddie, no. Sit. Sit. Don't knock this over, please. Sit. You can sniff it, but just stay there. Okay. Sorry. Sorry again. Um, in this one, you got the oil, you got the stone, you got the incense, you got the bath salts, you got the spill candle, you got the tea and the herbs just like you do with most of them. But for Samhain on 2017, you got down, down boy, come on, down, sit, sit. See, good boy. You got, there were four cork bottles, pretty decent sized bottles, like vials, like you have in like when you took chemistry, those kind. And I can't tell what was in them, except one of them looked like it had black salt in it, which was awesome. And the three may have been stones or crystals or something like that. So that was an extra. And you also got charcoal discs, like a good amount of charcoal discs, like a whole, like, you know, they come in the rolls there, not just one, but a set, a bunch of them. And they had two major I would say major like bonuses um, they had a decorative hand broom and this had an already a crystal on it it had an amethyst crystal and it had a pentagram charm on it it was really pretty and it was just one of those hand brooms like you know handmade really really nice and also 
you got a, it was a cast iron cauldron. I mean, it was, I mean, that's a big thing right there. And oh, also you got a sage bundle, which is something we don't normally get. So you have one, two, three, four, five, at least five things, you know, that were, I think, extras for Samhain last year. Now for this year, the extra, you know, of course, besides the wand, would probably be looked at as this ritual that they had with the rune in it. And I'll open this up. And there were three items in there. And it was another candle with some Palo Santo on here, but just it was just one stick. You know, sage bundle, I guess it's a little bit more, but little, you know, tiny candle, beeswax, still very nice. And it had, I think it had a rune in it. I think it's behind the Palo Santo. And part of the ritual was, were the flowers? And then there was a tea, like this flower. It looked like a tumbleweed, but it's it flowers when you drink it. So what I want to say about this is that compared to the other extras that we had last year, these were not really expensive to make. This is really like, you know, I don't want to say cheap, but very inexpensive. It's not something, you know, and the tea. You know, it's not something that is going to be considered a major item. And, you know, the candle's small. And I just think for this extra, they just kind of, I don't know, cut the corners and just, it just wasn't up to snuff. It just wasn't up to the witch's moon usual. You know, this is a lot different than a hand broom with a crystal charm and uh, or a crystal on it and a pentagram charm on it. I just, I think this doesn't really compare to it. I don't think they're the same, you know, and those cork bottles, the charcoal discs, the sage bundle, the cast iron cauldron, the, all of that stuff. So those are basically my thoughts on it and I'm not trying to put down or bag on the witch's moon. They have great boxes and everything, but I will say that I, I agree that I am a little disappointed this, uh, this Samhain and, oh, also we got, we did get an amethyst. However, we just got one like two boxes ago. We got a little like tiny, tiny like geo type and this is supposed to be a pointed one, and mine looks like the, the point was chipped off or never a point. Here we go. And I didn't see where it broke off or anything like that in the bag or anywhere in the box. So, I mean, it's nice and everything, but it's not, you know, I guess I could use the other end like this, but this has one, two, three, it, I don't know. I was hoping for something pointy, that's what, and it just looks like it was, like it broke, like the tip broke. So, and last year's already had an amethyst on it, so you got that too. So, anyways, those are my thoughts on this year's Samhain edition of the Witch's Moon box. And I really think that they should have done more this year for it. And I don't know if anyone agrees or not. You may not agree and that's fine. But I just thought I would put my thoughts into this. I know I promised to do this earlier, but things have been like really crazy lately with work and what have you. So um, I got this one up and tell me your thoughts on this. You know what you think about this month's if you if you want to comment you know please do I would like to hear what you guys have to say about it and also another thing if you have any ideas for videos for me that you want me to do I please let me know if you whatever video you would like you know I'm open to it as well because so far what I've been doing um, as far as you know 
supplies and stuff are just like boxes. I have some cosmetics and some other stuff, but but as far as to this subject, this genre, let me know what you would like me to do and I will seriously consider it. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and it would be really cool if you would subscribe. So until next time, this is Omega. Bye.